hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm dennis and in today's video i'm going to show you something very creative about corel draw and it's text masking effects so without any further ado let's roll in the intro Subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video. Before I start, I would like to say thank you so much for all my subscribers and everyone that has been watching my videos. You guys are so, so amazing. I'm so, so grateful. This channel will be getting to 1000 subscribers very soon and I'll be answering all your questions about graphic design. So kindly comment all your questions down in the comment of this video. So I'll be answering your questions on my 1000 subscribers Q&A. So let's go to Corel Draw. So these are the pictures I'll be making the text masking effect and these are popular people. They are all Nigerians and they are popular musicians and you might know them very well and i hope i've not done any wrong using their pictures for this tutorial so they won't come here and start disturbing me here okay so i'll be using simi um root boy and faust okay so these are the people i'll be using for this tutorial now the first thing i'll do is to type the text here simi and i'll break it this way And I'll be using a bold typeface. Actually, you can use any typeface, but for me, I'll be using Petras. And I'll use my shape tool to take it up like this. Then I'll centralize it like this. This is perfect. Then I'll bring it here and enlarge it like this. I can go with this then i'll make sure my text aligns very well with the picture itself and i'll select the picture with the text and press b so it aligns to the bottom here next thing i'm going to do is to give this text an outline then i'll take off the few of the text like this i'm going to click here to take off the few and click and and right click here to give it an outline just as what you can see here next up i'm going to double click here so my outline pane dialog box will come out and i'll be able to set how i want my outline to look like then i'm going to click on width and give it 10 uh i think that's okay or uh, eight yeah eight is okay then i'm going to make sure it's behind here and okay then this is what i've got okay and the next i'm going to do is to use my pen tool and trace like this then i'm going to click here and pass through this part like this then i can pass through here so i can start tracing this picture like this using the pen to click and drag press alternate and click then drag the same way you use your pen tool with corel draw that's the same method you adopt here and you do this again just make a cut out of this picture and continue like this you don't have to be perfect when doing this all you want is to get the text masking effect okay i think i'm going to be faster a little here Uh, then I'll make sure I come back to the last 
uh, the first node that we created here and join it here then all i'm going to do is to click on the shape which we have created and select the picture itself then click on trim to take off the background and this is what we have got then the next thing i'm going to do is to give this text a shadow by using my shadow tool i'm going to give it a shadow like this and i'm going to adjust my faders and this looks really cool then you can give this any color you want just like this it looks very cool okay and you can as well adjust the outline width if it's perfect okay and this is it so this is how to make a text masking effect and this is for the first person and the next i'm going to do is this and this time i'll be very fast I'm going to use my shape tool to adjust the text like this and the same to this and I'll place it this way Okay, and I'm going to click, click here and right click on white and double click here to open my outline pane dialog box and I will give it 8 point and hit OK. So this is what I've got and the next I'm going to do is to use my pen tool again to trace this. I'll start here. Sorry. Start here. Remember your pen tool lines should pass through the outline of this text. And you can start here to make the photo cut out. And I'll be very fast with this. And boom, this is the end of the tracing. So what we are going to do next is simply this time around, I'm going to use intersect. The first one was trim, but this time around, I want to intersect 
this and this is what i'm going to do simply select click shift and select the picture and click on intersect then you can delete off this background like this and delete off your shape just like this and this is what we've got and the next we are going to add shadows to this select the two text and add shadows and adjust your shadows just like this then you can give this text any color like give it an outline like this and i think white should be perfect ctrl g and this is what we have got you can still adjust your outline on this And this looks very cool and i'm going to adjust the shadows again and this looks so cool okay and lastly it's files Okay, if I'm not mistaken with files name, that's it. And click here and right click here to give it this outline. Then double click here to set your outline for main field. And okay, then using the pen tool, you can trace this. bring this here then select this and click on trim and I'm going to add my shadows so this is it And I'm able to create this text masking effect for these three musicians and it's very nice. You can use this for your designs. You can use this for a birthday design or a birthday post for social media stuff like that. And it looks very great. You can apply it to a background and it looks so cool just like this. And you can also use this as your profile picture on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and it looks very cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.